And we're out here on the south basin of Lake Winnipeg, Manitoba, one of the largest lakes in the world. And according to my buddy here, Alex Kessler, it's got some of the biggest walleyes ever. Potential world record in here, I feel. Uh, today we're gonna go uh, hunting for walleyes. It's such a big body of water, the schools of fish can be huge. So the key for us will be movement. We're gonna keep moving till we find a school of fish and then hunker down on them and, and see if we can catch a whole bunch of them. I guess we better get busy. Uh, you we bet. have a lot of water. Are you drilling my holes? <laughs> I hope so. I do quite a bit of fishing all over Manitoba and Ontario. Okay. And just for example, Lake of the Woods, right now we would be fishing structures and staying off the edges, but really keying in on the structures. Lake Winnipeg is, is quite a different body of water. You're fishing big flat bottom areas and, and large schools of fish that are constantly on the move. And it's not really a structure oriented affair like it would be on Lake of the Woods. And, and you have to keep in mind that those fish could be anywhere. And, and it's the weirdest thing, as you can see, we're out here, we're in the middle of nowhere. And, and you wonder how you can even catch a fish through this one hole right here. And, and, and there's some of the days it could be just crazy, but you still have to make contact with those schools of fish. Many lakes and reservoirs have prominent structural features where walleyes concentrate in distinctive locations, such as at the tips of shoreline points or edges of underwater humps. Often, GPS hydrographic maps allow you to drive directly to key spots that appear on your screen, making fish location a relatively easy part of the fishing process. Other waters, like the one we're fishing today, have slowly sloping shorelines and expansive basins with little to no obvious structure. Areas that change a mere foot or two in depth across a hundred yard stretch, or where transitions occur between harder and softer bottom, offer just about as much change as fish are likely to encounter. Locating fish in these lakes requires a mobile search effort, beginning in high percentage areas that are likely to draw or funnel fish movement. River mouths, the mouths of large bays, narrows, even ice heaves that break up otherwise uniform terrain are good places to start your search. Migrating or moving fish tend to linger in these general areas, milling throughout them in loose groups rather than in tight schools. Nice fish. Got one here, Dave. Good deal. Now there's a Lake Winnipeg walleye. That's what we're after. That's exactly what we're after. There's tons of them out here. You just gotta locate them. And the key is moving. Move, move, move till you get them. Now we're gonna catch some fish. Now we located one or two. Things should start to happen. 